Officials in Hamden are investigating a home invasion where two men broke into a home wearing Halloween mm. masks. Good evening. I'm Ann Nyberg. I'm Keith Coons. Police say the suspects pistol whipped one of the victims, firing off a shot, but it was the victim's dog that actually saved them. Happened at a home on Pine Rock Avenue. News 8's AJ Walker joins us live in Hamden tonight with the very latest. AJ. Keith and Ann, police say they don't know why that family was targeted, but they say the men who came into their homes carrying guns just walked right in. Police say two men wearing Michael Myers Halloween mask armed with two semi-automatic handguns followed a family into their home on Pine Rock Avenue after they neglected to lock the door behind them. It's a little concerning, to be honest. You know, you grow up in a neighborhood, you think you're safe in, and then... A couple years later, it all goes downhill. Michael Grava says his Hamden neighborhood is getting worse, and the latest home invasion is just another example. It could happen to anybody, and I know there's, there's another one down this street, too. There's been a couple, not just this one. A couple of home invasions in the Mix Avenue area, which is approximately a mile and a half or so from that location. Police say they're beefing up patrols to cut down on crime, but the home invaders last night were on a mission. They were followed inside by two intruders who demanded money. Once inside, police say one of the men pistol whipped the homeowner, and at some point, a shot was fired. That's when the family dog decided he'd had enough. The dog, homeowner's dog, attacked the in intruders, which caused them to flee on foot. Police say the dog was a bloodhound, a breed not usually known for guard dog instincts, but this dog had instincts that may have saved his family's life. And police say the two men they're looking for in connection with this home invasion are both aged 20 to 25 years old. They're both black males. One is uh, five foot nine. The other is six foot two inches tall. If you have any information, you're encouraged to please call the Hamden Police Department. For now, live in Hamden, A.J. Walker, News 8.